Meenakshi Lekhi is an Indian politician belonging to the Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP) and is a member of parliament from New Delhi constituency in the 16th Lok Sabha. She is the national spokesperson of Bharatiya Janata Party and a Supreme Court of India lawyer. She won the high-profile New Delhi parliamentary constituency with over 4.5 lakh votes as a BJP candidate in the 2014 elections. In July 2016, she was appointed as chairperson of the Committee on Privileges of the Lok Sabha in Parliament and is continuing since then in that position. Besides writing articles in journals, periodicals and newspapers on socio-political issues, she participates in various television shows on matters on national and international importance. Lecky writes forthright, a fortnightly column in The Week magazine. With her equal command over English and Hindi, she is known as a firebrand debater in the parliament and has distinguished herself with numerous debates on matters of national importance in the Lok Sabha, such as debates on intolerance in India and the Triple Talak Bill. She has also distinguished herself as an active participant in the various parliamentary processes and was awarded with the Best Debut Women Parliamentarian Award by Lokmat in 2017. Early life After completing her B.Sc. in Botany from Hindu College, Delhi, Meenakshi Lekhi joined the Campus Law Center I, Delhi University for her LLB. She enrolled with the Bar Council of Delhi in 1990, and started practicing at the Supreme Court of India, Delhi High Court, and several other courts, tribunals and forums in different parts of the country. Lekki belongs to a family of prominent lawyers, as her father-in-law, Pran Nath Lekki, and her husband Aman Lekki both have been leading lawyers and have handled several important and popular cases. Her husband senior advocate Aman Lekki, who is an additional solicitor general of the Supreme Court, is known for handling cases such as the Lajpat Nagar bomb blast, the Vasant Kunj multiple murders, etc. besides arguing in the matter pertaining to the right to information, 2G spectrum, among others. Her father-in-law, as a Supreme Court lawyer, has been widely known for handling the case of Sutwant Singh, the murderer of Indira Gandhi and Zahira Sheikh, who was one of the victims in 2002 Gujarat violence. <laughs> <laughs> Legal career She has practiced in various courts, including several tribunals, Delhi High Court and the Supreme Court. She has also practiced in a range of forums across India and handled a range of issues pertaining to women in the courts, such as domestic violence, family law disputes and most importantly the issue of permanent commission of the lady officers in the armed forces. Besides, she has been a social activist and has been associated with several institutions, including the National Commission for Women, Sakshi, NIPCD and several other organizations which are known for being protectors of the rights of women and children in the country. Lecky has been a part of the drafting committees for bills like Women's Reservation Bill and Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Prevention, Prohibition and Redressal Bill. The latter was passed by the parliament as an act in 2013. Meenakshi Lekhi represented the media in court to get the ban on media coverage of case proceedings revoked. She was successful in this effort. She took up the case of the permanent commissioning of women in the Indian Armed Forces in the Supreme Court. Meenakshi Lekhi was also the lawyer of the victim in the Shanti Mukund hospital rape case. Topic: Social work. Meenakshi Lekhi has been a member of the National Commission for Women's Special Committee, Chairperson of the Special Task Force on Women Empowerment, Vice Chairperson of JPM, Blind School, New Delhi, and Joint Secretary of the Blind Relief Association, Delhi. In April 2015, she was part of a national environment awareness program, hosted by Women Can, a non-government organization. She awarded 500 tree saplings to awarded students. The students had been a part of a quiz contest conducted across India through the initiative of Women Can, with the help of student volunteer Apoorv Jha, who published a quiz book and designed the quizzes. As she was associated with several NGOs, she also worked with Swadeshi Jagran Manch, an organization associated with Sang Parivar and from there she was invited by ex-BJP President Nitin Gudkari to join BJP in its Mahila Morcha women's wing as its vice president and from there her political career took off. 
Topic as a parliament member Meenakshi Lekki contested in elections for the New Delhi parliamentary constituency in the general elections 2014 and defeated incumbent Ajay Makin by a margin of 2.7 lakh votes. In her capacity as Member of Parliament from the New Delhi constituency, Lekki is currently the member of New Delhi Municipal Council She is the ex officio chairperson of the Commonwealth Women Parliamentarians India chapter and has been nominated as a member of the Press Council of India by the Lok Sabha Speaker. She was appointed the chairperson of the Committee on Privileges of the Lok Sabha in July, 2016 and is also currently an active member of the Standing Committee on Urban Development, Committee on Personnel, Law and Justice, Consultative Committee of Commerce and Committee of Housing. On 28 August 2015, Ministry of Urban Development and NDMC approved the renaming of New Delhi's Aurangzeb Road as Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Road. Lekki, as member of the NDMC as well as the MP of the New Delhi constituency where the road is situated, had played important role in this decision. As a member of NDMC, she also got the name of Dalhousie Road, a road near the Secretariat Building, New Delhi, changed to Dara Shiko Road earlier. She had been instrumental in changing the name of Race Course Road, the Delhi Road adjacent to the Indian Prime Minister's residence, to Lok Kalyan Marg, thus giving a new address to the PM's residence, from 7 RCR to 7 LKM. Meenakshi Lekki has adopted the village Palanji falling under her New Delhi parliamentary constituency to be developed as model village under the Sansit. Adarsh Gram Yojana announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his Independence Day address. However, as Palanji is now an urbanized settlement with no Gram Sabha or village Panchayat, as required under the scheme, she has also adopted the village Kudabgar on the outskirts of Delhi that falls outside her constituency. In July 2017, Lekki was honored with the Lokmat Parliamentary Award as Best Debut Woman Parliamentarian. In terms of utilization of MPLAD funds among the seven MPs of Delhi, Meenakshi Lekki New Delhi had been found to spend the maximum amount. She used 2.50 crore rupees out of 5 crore rupees released by the government in the very first year, which was 50% of the total released. During a discussion on the Triple Talak Bill in Parliament in December, 2017, Meenakshi Lekki demanded stern punishment for the clerics and religious leaders who support and facilitate the process of instant Triple Talak, known as Talak I Bid It. Further, she had said, I want to tell Muslim women, when you have a brother like Narendra Modi, you don't need to be afraid. We stand with you in this fight. On the issue of growing incidents of lynching in India, she said that the incidents of mob lynching are due to economic disparity. Giving instances of the killing of Bengal migrant worker Manik Roy, who was beaten up by a group of men in Tiruvanantapuram in Kerala on the suspicion that he had stolen a hen, and a 30 year old tribal man Madhu, who was beaten by an irate mob in Kerala on the accusation of theft. Lekki told that many cases of lynchings happen due to poverty and economic issues. She has been an active participant in the parliamentary processes. In the 16th Lok Sabha, Lekki has participated in 95 debates national average being 57.9, asked 378 questions national average being 251 and introduced 15 private member bills national average being 1.8 in the Lok Sabha as updated till 6 April, the end date of budget session, 2018. Her overall attendance in Parliament till Budget Session, 2018 has been 95% against the national average of 80. <laughs> 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 <